Hello and welcome. This is uh, Paul Sandhu. So I recorded this uh, video that follows uh, in my car the other day. And this was done in response to a comment that uh, one of my viewers had uh, made on one of my old videos, which is titled, Do We Live Inside a Computer Simulation? Okay, the simulation theory that suggests that, you know, everything that exists is not particles and uh, consists of matter such as atoms and molecules, but is a computer, something that has been designed on a computer, and that would be include us, that, you know, like uh, characters in a video game, that's what we are. And, you know, this is, uh, this person uh, that who wrote a comment, you know, he seems to be a little bit distressed by the idea that this could all be a simulation. Now, perhaps simulation is not the right word, but the Bible would very strongly suggest that we the, the nature of reality is holographic, that it is computer generated. It is not like, you know, particles and matter, something solid and tangible, but everything that consists, consists of something intangible, which would be in the Bible called the Word of God. As we are clearly told, you know, in John 1, 1, for example, that uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, <clears throat> excuse me, all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Psalm 33, 6, we can read, for example, you know, that uh, by the Word of the Lord were the heavens made, and the host of them by the breath of His mouth. Okay, so this idea about, you know, how much the Bible teaches about everything being consisting of words, even like our bodies, for example, in Psalm 139, it tells us, you know, in thy book, all my members were written. This is a very, very big study, and I'm doing this study, and I will be posting a, a more detailed version of this video in, uh, you know, perhaps in the coming days, where I'm going to quote, like, you know, so many scriptures from Bible that I would say clearly prove that reality is not what we have been taught as everything else in this world. It does not consist of atoms and molecules and other particles, but it consists of, as in a computer, you know, it is a language, consists of a language. God's language is like a computer language. And uh, that's what brings everything into existence, okay? So this video, like I said, you know, I just recorded in my car off the top of my head. So that's what I'm posting today. But in the future, hopefully soon, I will be posting a much more detailed, you know, video on this topic of uh, what it means when, it, when in the Bible we are told that all things have been made by the Word of God. Hello and welcome, this is Paul Sandhu. So today I wanted to uh, do a short video on the topic of the simulation theory. Those of you who may not be familiar with it, you know, simulation uh, theory is, uh, is an idea that uh, we exist as a computer simulation, that we consist of bits and bytes, you know, not necessarily of atoms and molecules and uh, or, uh, particles, okay? That's what everything consists of. That it is like, you know, you watch a computer screen, you're seeing the pictures or words or whatever you're doing in there on your iPad, etc. That actually is not like, you know, consists of uh, anything that is tangible, but it is made up of a language, which is the computer language. And that essentially is what the simulation theory would seem to suggest. So I had done a couple of videos on them and, uh, you know, do we live inside a computer simulation is the title of one of them. And then a couple of more that to suggest that the Bible teaches this uh, this is not entirely unbiblical to come to this uh, understanding that we are not consistent of uh, something like, you know, that is made out of matter, but we exist merely uh, something which is, you know, whether it's consciousness or, uh, you know, mind, thoughts, etc. These are nothing tangible. They're not made out of matter, but that is what we exist and consist of. Okay, so this, in regards to this uh, this video, do we live inside a computer simulation? There's uh, somebody by the name of Michael Guidry who had uh, posted this comment, and I just wanted to address that here because, you know, it is an important topic, 
and we can at least think about these things and uh, see what the Bible has to teach and uh, if uh, you know we can uh, come to some understanding based on scripture it's good otherwise you know it is also an interesting exercise you know that uh, we are exercising our mind and our faculties that God has given us to try and understand our existence you know rather than watching some dumb soap operas or sports etc so this is the comment if we are a simulation what would be the point of soul heaven hell god satan etc if my check sum is not included in the book of life my bits will be sent to the lake of fire and brimstone where there will be bit shifting and crunching and numbers for all of eternity ridiculous i don't know which side of this argument you're on but even considering it is a waste of life no my friend i don't think it's a waste of life because if you read scripture what does the scriptures tell us in the beginning was what it doesn't tell us then you know like if you if you consider science they take they try and tell you that there was something which was matter they call it a singularity they call it this that whatever different type of but the idea that they try to put in our minds is that there was this one little particle from which everything just magically appeared okay and uh that is how our existence is explained by science so-called. Now, what does the Bible teach? The Bible teaches in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God and the Word was God. This is John chapter 1 verse 1. And then it goes on to say the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, meaning the Word. Okay, it says all things were made by him. Now, if you know, we need to include ourselves in all things. And that would mean that we consist of the word, not of particles, not of matter, not of atoms, not of molecules, etc., etc., etc. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So the Bible is quite clear that everything consists and exists as the word of god okay and that actually you know something very hard for people to understand perhaps but ultimately when he says you know what is the what that what is the point of a soul well my friend a soul is not something made out of matter a soul which you can equate with consciousness is something that is completely intangible it is consists of the, what is the chief component of a soul you will say it is the mind okay and what is the mind the mind is thoughts and what are thoughts thoughts are words and what are words are words atoms or molecules or anything like that no they're not and you know before people put a lot of faith in science so-called as the bible says okay and the science is mostly fiction it's mostly science fiction atoms nobody's ever seen one nobody can prove the existence of atoms or you might have gone to school and you might have taken many physics courses they might have shown you a lot of diagrams with these atoms and protons and neutrons and you know now they have neutrinos and you know whatever like a billion other different particles they say that exist but nobody's ever seen one there is no, they have these pictures of atoms, you know, they are not pictures, absolutely not, okay? And uh, they are all false, they are all CGI, that's what you're looking at, just like space, which NASA shows you is all CGI, like in you know, outer space is all CGI, so is the inner space that they tell us exists, it doesn't, at least nobody's proven it that it does. All these theories about the cosmos, and also about the atom etc they come from ancient greek philosophers that's where they come from okay they're not science these philosophies they are disguised as science in the modern age anyway that was a little bit of a digression so what i wanted to teach you was that if the soul itself is not something that is tangible a soul itself does not consist of matter then what does it matter Okay, when this question asked, this person asked, if we live inside a simulation, nothing has significance. No, no, no. Whether we live inside a simulation, that may be actually the terminology there may be a little bit incorrect. That we necessarily, in a manner of speaking, we live in a computer simulation, which is the mind of God. But 
our existence is not unreal okay our soul which is the consciousness which God gives it may be intangible but it is real okay our feelings and emotions they are also our experiences they are very real the person that we are is very real just because we may not exist we may not exist in the form of atoms like I said in the form of particles it doesn't matter if we exist as holograms let's say it doesn't make us any unreal okay because our life our experience our existence our consciousness and ultimately our conscience none of that is made out of matter but it is very real absolutely real you know you can understand like even emotions you know they are not like something that is made out of particles for example in movies you know this uh, this is another favorite subject of mine which is the subject of music okay and uh, in movies when you're watching a movie whether it's an action movie or it's uh, one of these uh, you know uh, emotionally uh, disturbing movies you know where there's some kind of tragedy etc or it's a horror movie what is it that incites the most emotion it is music now music itself is this does it consist of particles or atoms or molecules as a matter of fact nothing no information music is information no information consists of particles the Bible does not teach that we consist as particles as a matter of fact the Bible teaches the opposite that we consist of words that are intangible and this is what that is meant by it when it says everything consists of the word all things were made by the word and without him was nothing made that was made not a single thing made the Bible says what that means is the intelligence that is God who again is totally intangible occupies no space does not consist of any matter yet everything exists inside of him and that is how we understand the simulation in Acts chapter 17 I don't know offhand the exact words but you can read Acts chapter 17 it tells us in him we live and we move and we have our being in him okay that our existence is inside the mind of God this is something very very difficult for people to understand but that doesn't mean that we are unreal okay God has given each one of us individually a consciousness which is a soul he has made us souls okay and there's a purpose for which he has done that and I have talked about this purpose a great deal in many of my other videos which is you know that we exist because he has created everything for his pleasure and our existence is ultimately intended to bring the creator pleasure that we all exist for him you know this is a myth that you exist for yourself in the end God has created us the way he has because he is going to do a work in us here but that work my friend is not being done in the body your body is going to be born, it's going to grow, and it's going to grow old, and it's going to die. It's going to return to the dust from which it was made. The body is not, Jesus did not come to save our bodies. He came to save our souls, our consciousness, our, our being that we are. Okay? And that being does not consist of matter. And if it doesn't consist of matter, then it consists of words of a language just like things inside a computer like the video that you're watching you know you may see my face you may see me talking but you know I'm not there in physical form am I no so what are you seeing you are seeing only a computer language that makes me that makes that image look like me okay now when you extrapolate that on a greater scale on a more bigger canvas maybe that's what we all are is that we are consistent of these words which would be mathematical yes there has to be mathematics involved in it but consciousness itself is a product of words because if you could not use words if you could not think if you could not you know uh, formulate ideas and thoughts would you exist would you okay that's a very 
deep question. It, and maybe we could, but we wouldn't have intelligence. It, intelligence and consciousness are two different things. There are many things that are conscious. Now, I think everything is conscious, as a matter of fact. In the Bible, you know, it talks about stones uh, would cry out and the trees would clap their hand, even like objects that we consider to be inanimate. They are, you know, it's implied that they have some form of consciousness and that is not entirely untrue. Okay? And I can understand how that would be true. But man, in particular, and the angels, they are two, two uh, types of beings, two types of creatures that God made that he gave them something special, which is intelligence. And the intelligence means that it is, we have the faculty of processing information in terms of language. Okay? And God himself, ultimately we are told that the word was God, which means that God himself is information. Information that is conscious, information that is living, information that is feeling, information that you know has all the characteristics that we think we possess because we have a body but my friend those characteristics are not a characteristic of the body they are of your mind they are of the heart they are of the soul they are of the spirit which does not consist of matter so when you ask this question you know that everything is meaningless if we are in a simulation absolutely not because you are if your reality is that we exist as we our existence is something holographic that does not mean that it is unreal okay we need to understand that that is the reality that is how we exist okay and that is the only way we can be real because that is the only way we can actually use our words we can use information and without the use of information we cannot be real, okay? And since our information processing is done, not with because of our body, but because of the mind, which is intangible, it, the emotions, the feelings, the love that we feel in our heart, it is not a product of my physical organ that is in my body pumping blood. No, it is something which is completely intangible. It does not consist of anything that is solid. So therefore, I may appear to be solid, but even science can do that these days where they can create holograms which are very, very real. They look like, you know, almost identical to humans and that day is not far when, you know, we will have like, you know, touchable and holograms that will have all the seeming properties of a physical body but yet they will consist of numbers. They will consist of a computer language. And God, whose understanding is infinite, can he not then use that language and make us? Okay? How does that make us unreal? How does this make our existence meaningless? It doesn't, it doesn't. Actually, that is the greater reality. The reality of the body is the temporary illusory reality the reality of the consciousness of the soul of the spirit is the permanent the eternal reality it is in my opinion the bible is very strong in this subject that uh, it is the word it is language it is you know understanding it is immaterial things that are not made of matter that actually are what is real and that my friend I hopefully will answer your question that you shouldn't be disheartened you shouldn't feel like you know there is some no purpose oh yeah the purpose remains the same everything remains the same because what is even like the judgment that's going to come it is going to be experienced by the consciousness okay by what a person is and a person is not of the body Jesus even said that you know that uh, that the man's uh, whatever like you know man's significance does not arise I'm just paraphrasing here consist uh, of you know it doesn't come from the body it is not the body that makes the person uh, in, you know valuable it is the spirit the soul the inner being the inner man and that inner man which the Bible talks about it is not made of a body
okay so when you can get to understand that that you know the inner man whom we don't really you know we are we, we are just so limited to our physical senses that we think only that which is physical made out of matter and matter itself probably doesn't exist is uh, but we have been taught that it does and uh, you know that that is the illusion that is the matrix that is what uh, the bible says you know the god of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not okay because we have been conditioned to believe in a certain reality which is actually the unreality so the greater reality is that uh, all what we consist of the most important part of our being it is the very inner man that we are which is the real me it does not it is made out of of language it is the language of god okay. so i hope uh, i think that's uh, about all i wanted to say on this topic for now like i said i have done some videos on this uh, topic of simulation i have included a lot of structural evidence i have included a lot of scriptures in those videos as i do in most and all my videos so uh, you know you can watch it you can study it in your bible and if that's what god is teaching us then you know we should run with it how does that make me unreal? It doesn't. It is a matter of fact to me, it makes me more real that you know that the real me is not this body that you're looking at with your eyes and that I'm seeing right now. All right, thank you for listening. God bless you all as you study to show yourself approved unto him and may he bless you with greater understanding and revelation and knowledge so that you can share it with all of us and we can all grow together in uh, with one mind and one accord. And you know what, let's give thanks to our Heavenly Father who loved us and gave His only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for us so that we can have eternal life. And eternal life, my friends, life itself is information. Okay, thanks again. Have a wonderful weekend.